A three-day sensitization workshop on public procurement procedures has opened in Katsina. It is meant to avail chief exec executives and other senior civil servants of more understanding on the technicalities in procurement. This is the first time this exercise is being carried out by the State Bureau of Public Procurement due to the rising need to reduce leakages in contracts and to boost the internally generated revenues of the state. TVC News correspondent Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. The dwindling resources in recent times have compelled many states to start looking inward to survive the harsh economic realities of the present time. Kazana State is caught in similar circumstances and is now devising multiple strategies to finance its activities, especially now that relative peace is returning to troubled parts of the state. One of the effects of the protracted security situation in the state has been the developmental deficit in many parts of the state. A challenge the government is determined to overcome through financial prudence. It is no again saying that the workshop will not have come at a better time when all segments of government are mindful, are mindful of how to manage their meager resources allocated to them, especially when it comes to procurement. The law is aimed at carving messages eliminating corruption, and above all, bringing more transparency and accountability in government affairs. Distinguished participants, the Kazina State Bureau of Public Procurement and Connected Matters Law, number 13 of 2017, was signed into law in June 2017, and further amended in 2020 as law number 20 of 2020. Prior to its passage, the State Tenders Board was the organ saddled with the responsibility of awarding contracts which was not established by any law or legal instrument. But public officers must now understand the technicalities of procurement procedures which will assist in reducing irregularities in the award of contracts. The State Bureau of Public Procurement says it is determined now, more than ever before, to ensure transparency and accountability in all government spendings. The State Bureau of Public Procurement has its compliance with the provision of the Act by enhancing its procedures in the award of contracts in conjunction with the State Ministries and this is in addition to the role of shareholders, including contractors, and the various body monitoring of capital projects, as successful fiscal policy, and new procedures and guidelines. The three-day workshop is slated to cover different categories of workers to deliberate on their functions and figure out how to get the best out of their services at all times. Abdullah Yusuf, TVC News, Katana.